Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a WordPress assessment using the Quiz and Survey Master plugin. So, um, as always, we are using InstaWP to set up our WordPress environment. And this service allows you to launch a WordPress installation in under one minute. So check it out, InstaWP.io. So if you guys don't have the QSM plugin, um, I will leave a link down in the description that you can follow that shows how to install the plugin. But basically, you just need to go to plugins, then click add new. And in the search box, type quiz and survey master. So it's the first result. And all you want to do is install and activate this plugin. All right. So next, what you want to do is go over to QSM. So click QSM. And we just want to click create new quiz or survey. So this is where we select our theme, um, but we only need our default theme. So just click next. But let's go over to form type and make this a survey. So just click survey. And for our quiz name, let's call this sample assessment. All right. So we had previously changed our form type to survey. And let's keep the time limit as zero for require user login. Let's keep this as no and click next. All right. So this is our add ons page and an add on basically extends the functionality of the plugin. So you can always purchase an add on that you need. But today we don't need any add ons So let's just click create quiz. All right. So this is our questions section. This is where we add our questions and answers. So we just need to type our questions in this box right here and we type our answers at the bottom. We can also add a description to our questions. So if we take a look on the right, we have our question type as well as our answers type. And we have a checkbox to make this required or not. Then we have categories and featured images on the bottom. All right. So I already have some questions prepared. So let's just copy and paste those questions. We want to go back over to our dashboard in our question section and paste. All right. So what we want to do is add our answers. So since this is a short answer, we want to go over to our questions type and select short answer. So all we need to do right now is click save question. All right. So I'm going to show you guys how to add a multiple choice type question right now. So we just need to go to the bottom, scroll to the bottom and select create new question. All right. So we just need to scroll all the way back to the top and we can either type our question or uh, copy and paste a question that has already been um, prepared. So let's go back to our document and let's copy and paste our second question. So let's just paste this right here. All right. So how long have you been employed for? This is our new question. We want to add our answers. So, um, this question type is vertical multiple choice. So we need to type multiple answers. So let's start typing our answers. So less than one year, add new answer. Let's say one to 10 years. Let's add a new answer as well. Um, 10 to 15 years Add new answer. And let's say over 15 years. All right. So these are our questions and we just want to go back over to the right hand side and click save question. And let's add our third question. So let's copy and paste our third question. So let's go back and create a new question and paste the question that we just copied. All right. So all we want to do now is um, configure our question type. So go over to question type. And we can add a different question type for this question. Um, let's just select drop down. So let's make this a drop down. Click drop down. And for our answers, let's add some options. So let's say manufacturing. Add new answer. Um, entertainment. Add new answer. Uh, let's say tourism. Add new answer and law enforcement. All right, so we are done adding our question. So let's click save question.
Okay, so we are just going to use three questions today. Let's just preview our questions to see what they look like. All right, so these are our questions. And you see we have our drop down right now. But what we want to do right now is add a contact form just to collect some user data. So go over to the contact tab, click contact, and we just want to click add new field. And we want users to provide their name. So under label, type name. Used for, select name. Required, yes. So check it and click add new field on the bottom. All right, so for this one, we want to collect emails. So click email, label, email, and used for email. Now let's make it required. And we need to scroll all the way to the top and click save contact details. All right, so we have created our contact form. So let's move on to text. Okay, so this right here is where we configure the message that a user sees before beginning our quiz or survey. And if we take a look on the right hand side, we see that we have some allowed variables over here. And we can actually use this if you just click on it. For example, current date at the bottom, if you click this, it will be inserted into the message. And this can be used to customize your message however you like. So let's add some custom text to this message. Let's say, please do not cheat. <laughs> let's correct this um, L. All right, so here we go. Please do not cheat. So this is our custom text. So we just need to click save text message to save this. All right, so at the bottom, we see that we can do a number of things. We can customize labels. We can customize this submit button. We can change um, the button label so we can make it something like go forth or um, anything else. Let's say send, for example, we can make the button say send. Um, and we also have some more options at the bottom, such as validation messages and some more options, but we don't need to configure anything else. So let's just click save changes to save this. So if we move on to options, we see that we can configure a number of options right here. So for example, our quiz type, we can change this to quiz or simple form. We can also configure some more options on this page. Um, for example, we can skip validations and configure some more options. But today we won't be making any more changes in this section. So let's scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on save changes. So moving on to our emails, um, we see that we have our default email. So this email will be sent to any user who enters their email address um, before taking a quiz. So we see that we have our user underscore email variable. So this right here means that any user who puts in their email address, um, this email will be sent to them. So if we take a look at our contact form, we remember that we created um, a field for email. So basically when a user puts their email address in, they will receive this email after they have completed the quiz. So we also have our template variables. So if we click this insert template variables button at the bottom, we see that we have some variables that we can add to customize our email. And if we take a look on the left hand side, we see that we have our conditions. So if we have no conditions, this email will always be sent. But if we add additional conditions, then the email will be sent only when the condition is satisfied. So if we click add additional conditions, um, we can just take a look at our options. So we have correct score percentage is equal to, we have some more options right here that we can select. And for correct score percentage, we can also change this to total points earned. All right, so let's move to results pages. So this is where we can configure what a user sees after they have completed the quiz or a survey. So we also see that we have our variables for our contact form and our uh, questions and answers. At the top, we have a message saying, thanks for submitting your response. You can edit this message on the results pages tab. So we just want to remove this and let's just say thanks for participating in this survey. And we can also add a condition to this results page. Um, but we won't be doing any of that, so let's just click Save Results Pages. All right, so we have saved our results page. And right now, we just want to go over to Style. 
and this is where we can choose our theme but we only have one right now if we click custom css over at the top this is where we can add some custom code to style our quizzes or surveys and if we click legacy we see that we can select some legacy styling as well so let's preview our assessment click the preview button so this is our assessment and we have our name and email fields so our contact uh, our contact form worked properly and our survey also works it looks good so we just need to go back to our dashboard to publish so let's publish our quiz okay 